very last bomb shot. I'm going to miss my bomb. Give me Good morning. It's a very wet morning out there. Um, Chris has gone to get the car, so I am just trying to finish up with getting dressed for the morning. So I have two appointments today. I'm supposed to be rushing out to see the doctor at the hospital for an ultrasound. I think it's an ultrasound. I'm not even too sure. And then I have an appointment with my midwife. I'm really excited today, guys, to meet my midwife because this is going to be the first time I'm going to be meeting the midwife who will be in the birth room with me, whatever room we get to choose. All right, guys, so not exactly the news that I wanted to hear today, but let me just quickly update you guys on what exactly I got to hear. So I wasn't even sure about what exactly this appointment was meant to be for. I mean, it was supposed to be for 10 a.m. And then because this is the same hospital where Chris gets to work in, I was like, you know what, let me just join you to come out this morning so that when I'm done with this one, then I can take a taxi down to Midwife's Eye. Anywho, I get here, do the ultrasound scan, um, which is what we just finished doing now, maybe at 37 weeks. So the lady was like, the cord is close to the cervix, that it's breached now, so they would rather that, it's not a problem, but I have to be in the hospital. I can't go home. So that means that I have to be in the hospital from 37 weeks till about 39 or 40 weeks. Crazy, man. I mean, I woke up this morning and I was writing lists of how I want to cook stew and grilled chicken and turkey this weekend. <laughs> now they're asking me to go get my bag or ask my partner to go get my bag because they're not letting me go home. Ooh, it's not even funny at all. Like, I hope they can let me go home and just spend one night in the house and then come back tomorrow i don't know i don't seem to think they'll let me spend the night today in the house but i need to call chris and let him know what this new change is right now so i stopped over at the state sainsbury store not too far from my house to just buy a few things to use to make some stew this afternoon because i'm not interested i'm not in a hurry to go and eat hospital food right now my hospital bag is packed not fully packed because I felt that I still had like a few more days before we get to go to the hospital but I mean things don't exactly go as you plan them to and that's something that I've been learning through my pregnancy journey you know like in my mind I wanted a water birth to be in the birth center blah 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 but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be what is going to be happening for me so okay guys so this is me cleaned up again i was able to do everything that i wanted to do everything that i had in my head that i actually wanted to do at least most of it um, at home today um, and then chris came back so we're heading out to the hospital the time is about 8 14 pm so i called the ward somewhere at about three-ish to find out if I could come in at any time and they said that yeah I could come in at any time because it's a 24 hour service thankfully so I just started to take my time you know clean up do everything that I wanted to do and then once I was done I took a shower and if you can see the car seat is installed now ready for baby to come so we're heading off to the hospital and I'm just going to be there until whenever they say I mean, if they want to release me, they're the ones who have the power to do that. But let me just go stay there. I guess it's safer for me to be there monitored than if I'm at home or somewhere out of my house and the water gets to break. So I'm just trying to follow doctor's instructions and be a very good patient so that at the end of the day, you're not leaving a regret, you know. I don't know I'm wearing these two rings right now, like this is how I left my house today. Hey, babies will show you something. And our owner has started showing us something already. I'm having more contractions now. They're not painful. But they make me have more urgency to go. So and this position that I'm in now is not even the most most comfortable. I wish I could lie on my side because with this position now, I constantly feel like I need to go to the toilet to urinate. And then my back feels like it's arched. I just feel like I'm complaining this night. I'm going to keep complaining until morning. How is the heart rate looking? Uh, yeah, yeah, fine. Lots of movement, but the heart rate's fine. Okay. So we might have this night. You might have this night. Just this night. 
Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Enjoy your bump while you still have it. <laughs> That's why I'll pop in and out, but let me know if you need anything. Do you want the lights dimming so you can try and get some rest? Uh, yeah, a little bit. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get her off that way, thank you. Let me get rid of this thing on my head. This is, there goes my cornrows and my washing my hair plan. There goes my going back home to pack my hospital bag. There goes my birthday celebration in two days time. And there goes, what else? My expected date of delivery. Oh, there goes my water birth plan too. There goes my water birth plan. All gone down the drain right now. Because this baby seems to have a mind of his own. So, yeah. At this point, I think I'm just going to submit myself to the knowledge of the doctors and allow them to do their own things, you know. Thankfully, I understand some of the medical terms that they're using so I can absolutely understand when they get to tell me that it's like an emergency right now so basically i think it's it's all because okay so i mean they're bringing up a lot of reasons right now baby's heart rate is going high baby's heart rate is dipping uh i've also heard what else have i heard tonight i've also heard oh the fluid is still high which i was like when we checked the fluid on friday the fluid was was about 35 and then by the time we checked the fluid again on Monday with an ultrasound machine, the fluid was 25.2, which was still borderline, but nothing to worry about. And then they're like, um, so my surgery, yes, that surgery two years ago. So they're like, your doctor kind of suggested that you're better off having a C-section so that we avoid a rupture. So yeah, I guess that goes my, I mean, I'm. I'm kind of disappointed at this point because I've been trying to get their attention to say, I had a surgery two years ago. Is there any chance for me to, you know, have a vaginal birth? If from the onset I was told that I wasn't going to be given that chance, I mean, like, I would have booked for a cesarean section a long time ago and known that very well and good I'm going to be having a cesarean section. But they made it feel like, oh, just keep going, just keep going you know okay you're 35 weeks now and then it was not until last week when i had that episode where braxton hicks and pain arose and then i rushed down to the hospital myself you know that was the only reason why they were able to pick up whatever it is that they're picking up right now because if not then i mean i could have as well just have been a pregnant woman looking around the streets and whenever i was ready i could have just walked into the hospital and said well i'm ready to push out this baby right now but anyways, thankfully, that wasn't the case. So what they're suggesting now is they're just going to keep monitoring baby's heart rate. And then, I mean, I've pleaded that, um, can they just allow me to have this night to myself? And then tomorrow morning, we can have the cesarean section done. Um, at least then I would have just, I don't know, I just want to have the night to myself. To just, you know, maybe it's just compensation for the anger that I feel right now. But um, yeah, baby should be coming very soon at this point, apparently. So, birthday on Sunday, baby on Saturday. Let's see how it goes. I feel okay. The way I feel hasn't changed. My heart rate still seems the same. My blood pressure seems the same. It's just baby's feet are down. The cord is down to the foot and they're just not giving me any chances at this point to keep this bump keep this pregnancy going so Christopher came here this morning <laughs> only to realize that he forgot the hospital bags at the door of the house so he's had to drive back home but um, I've just only spoken to an the anesthetist and the consultant obstetrician so they've let me know that the surgery will be starting soon I guess they're just preparing the room right now so I just need to pop you another wristband on Okay. This um, one. Yeah. Oh. You haven't got any allergies. No. No, it's perfect. All right. I'll leave okay, you with so those. I try this one on. Yes, please. Okay.
actually had another one in my hospital bag but I'll use the one they have here oh. now to wear the socks <laughs> can't even lift my legs so they will be calling for you at any time from now um, if your partner's not here they will let him in as and when he, he comes um, but it will take them about 10-20 minutes to get your spinal in so nothing will happen okay Okay. Um, the midwife has asked have you got any loose teeth caps no. or crowns no No. and when did you last have something to eat that was 5pm yesterday perfect thank you very much We are here now and we are ready. Okay. See you on the other side. I hope I look pretty though. Mm. That's what we came here for. What does it feel like? Okay, then I can feel her arms. Okay. Um, Where is she like, touching? Okay. My knees. Okay. And then she's in between my legs. Okay. So let's give you some other things. Can you just confirm? Are you allergic to any antibiotics you know? No, not at all. I think that I'm not. <laughs> When you're allergic to chloroquine? Maybe. <laughs> Everybody was in the school. Everybody. Because of itching. Mm -hmm. So we started now. So what are you feeling inside for yours? This is it. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. I'm going to hear someone screaming now. It's no, no longer problem. my voice you're going to be hearing only me. No, no problem. <laughs> We're ready. Are we ready? I was born ready. Am I ready? It's up to you. Mm. You have to have felt like someone is sitting on my chest. Sorry, yeah? So you are experiencing real pain. Real pain. Your heart's beating faster, beating slower, responding yeah. to all the cuts that is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll sit down here so I don't interrupt their movements. Okay. I tried to brush my hair and I didn't have anything to use to do there. Um, no problem. Hmm. Seven years. Okay. That's how it works. Mm. <laughs> Almost there. You can't laugh. <laughs> I don't have muscles. You don't laugh. You don't laugh. I don't need you laughing. I can laugh. I don't have no muscles to laugh right now. Mm. English name is Sean. Is that S-E-A-N or the S-H-A-N? S-E-A-N. S-E-A-N, yeah. Like Sean Bean. You're probably too young. Very, very, very Irish. Very Irish. Yeah, we try to keep one Irish name that people can pronounce. I wonder who you look like. You better look like me. Well, yeah. Anybody where you look like, it's okay. Yeah. A, a good version of both of us. <laughs> exactly, that's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, water all over the place. I feel like I'm in an aircraft right now. Mm. Sorry, yep. Yeah. <coughs> right. We are done. Mm. We are almost done. I know there's lots of pressure on mm. yeah. okay. Trying to get him out. Yeah. Maybe it's bigger than we thought. I don't know. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you eating? He's here. Don't worry, you get better pictures in the Oh my god. Can't see me. Oh, I can't remember the last time I saved you. Can you hear that? Oh, that's loud and strong. Loud and strong. Yeah. Oh, God. There you go. It's a strong man's cry. <laughs> uh -huh. You don't need to cry. That's a strong baby there. Congratulations. You can walk if you want. Oh, Alright. Oh, oh, congrats. You don't walk. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's baby Oswafo. Yeah, it's just handwritten at the moment, but you There you go. Know. Yes, I am. Right. Woo! That's a man's crap. Alright, let's see. Moment of truth. Three point five. So this whole thing just becomes the scales. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah. see how much you weigh, baby. So then we lift them. <laughs> then we replace him. And then the weight, it will come up in kilos first. Okay. So are you happy to take a photo of that? Oh, sure. Yeah. So 2790, that's for my notes. There you go. And then most two seven nine, yeah. prefer pounds and ounces. So six pound two. Okay. Or, so that's a 2.7 yeah. kg. Do you want a picture Thanks. of the pounds and ounces as well? Yes, I've yeah. gotten that. Thank you. Yep, yeah, so six, six pounds two, 2.79. Perfect. Lovely. Right, so just put a nappy on Quick him cry. and a hat and he's all yours. <laughs> oh. Yeah, cough it all out. <laughs> put the nappy on, always make sure that Willie's pointing downwards. Okay. Otherwise they wee out of their nappy. Down. PP. Down PP. And a mm -hmm. nice green hat which lets us know that he doesn't need any blood sugars or anything. There. Oh, okay. And now I'm going to make him into a, a little wrap. <laughs> and he's all yours. He's fine. Have you used. So be alert on this, but it's a time. Baby and mama are doing well. Perfectly well. You like it on your mouth? Enjoy. Enjoy your space ride.
So baby's here. Thank God. Um, we are currently in recovery. We've been here now for uh, like two hours, yeah? Mm. I think. I'm trying to get him to latch. I'm trying to breastfeed him. In the meantime, my body is on fire, itching me thanks to the anesthesia that is wearing off. But everything has gone on well. They've taken off the tube because they were quite concerned with his esophagus. Um, right now, I've had some food. I threw up a little bit, but I'm alright. I'm just in and out of sleep, like, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to learn how to breastfeed. I don't know how to do that, but we're doing it together. How are you? I'm fine. You, Papa? I'm good. Yeah. He wants to just keep sleeping. I'm trying to get him to breastfeed. But he wants to keep sleeping. Well, anyways, at the moment, we're just enjoying the skin-to-skin -skin love. <sighs> I can't believe we're now parents. Okay. I'm so tired. As long as I